lovely to set up out here, as Bill said, and we'd be happy to let you all try him because riding him is to believe it. It's like if you have never tasted strawberry jam, like when the lady said here, you don't know what it tastes like. So you have to taste it. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope to see you a little bit later. Okay? Okay, thank you, Barbara. Will you wait? I think we. Yes, may we're going to take some questions. You can just go down to uh, a halt when you're ready. Think about it. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, Birgit's going to get these questions off. Uh, I have two questions. First, can you also stop it from the ground without the rider falling down because it's too abrupt? Yes, yes. yes I can. can control the horse here on yeah. the buttons. So if I have a very inexperienced rider, I can you know, take the reins and, and sensors off and they sit like on a lunch line basically and then I can take them up to walk and trot and canter with this with this yeah, no, but, but I mean also if it gets out of control somehow, so you could still Then we it. stop there. <laughs> <laughs> then we stop it on the red button. <laughs> <laughs> Second question. <laughs> what about the cost of it? <laughs> I think everybody would like to know. Pardon? The cost? Yes, the cost is, cost is 41,512 pounds. So you figure it out, <laughs> the British pound. I would say it's about from door to door, from Racewood to California, it's about $70,000. But considering that the schoolmaster might cost 150000 and he might go lame or angry after three months, you have one here for 70 that is going to run 24-7 for the next 20 years. So. Um, uh, are they all, pro all Trezage simulators, are they all programmed till Grand Prix or is that, these are spe uh, special wishes? No. Uh, they the all go Grand Prix? Pardon? They all go they all, till Grand Prix, Grand Prix spot? Yeah, all of them can do all the way up to Grand Prix, yes, okay. the dressage <laughs> simulators. Is, is Trond here? Because I feel a new cl FEI class for dressage yeah, simulators. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's one lady. Okay, question here. Hey Barbro, hey. Jessica Nord in Sweden. Uh, I'm just wondering who decides what the correct aids are and who have set the correct aids. Yeah, it the uh, when Bill designed this, uh, this dressage simulator, he first had a riding simulator that I actually purchased uh, seven years ago. Uh, when he delivered that and we talked about it and I started to kind of said, do you think we can make the horse to pick up the right canter and the left canter instead of just doing a canter? And I could see the computer started to run in his head and two months later he called me and said, I, I have figured it out, you know, I think I can do that. So then we have actually worked a little bit together with this. He asked me, how do you do a flying change? How do you do this and how do you do that? And I did not want to have the responsibility of being the norm for the rest of the world. So I actually put David Hunt on it <laughs> and I said, do you think that this works? <laughs> and uh, David was, uh, was very happy with it and said that it, it, it's very clear and it's, it should be that sensitive and uh, the AIDS this is the norm for where it should be. So uh, then it was also a Grand Prix rider in England that worked on it and we kind of all agreed that this is the norm and then of course within the range uh, there could be small differences but the pressure on the range, how much, should I, how much is a contact, how much pressure should we have on the legs in order for the horse to react and uh, what is the feel for how the horse is moving. Can you recalculate one movement? No, uh, the movements are what they are. So the horse goes medium canter is the same, whoever sits on it. And he can leg yield. So if you, if you have the horse going, now he is of course up in a fence here, so he can't jump this one. The jumping simulator jumps really good. <laughs> but when, the rider is doing different movements. It's all about the weight in the saddle, the bend and the flexion, and how the rider puts the legs on. So say, for instance, that we are practicing 
leg yields. So we can go to this arena again, and I will show you that without the rider on. Uh, I can tell the rider to go between leg yield and half pass, for instance, to practice the different connection on the outside reins, the different weight in the saddle. And it says up on the arena, it says then uh, leg yield, half pass, leg yield, half pass. So it's all about how the rider is putting the legs on. And sometimes they think they are putting the leg on for a leg yield, but the leg is back here or forward here. So if they put, you can see up there to the left, you see the green light